Well, the Dayton Group is creating what's called a literary oasis in Miami Valley book deserts. It's using a bike to bring books to neighborhoods with limited library access. Two News reporter Catherine Ross shows us what's working in the Miami Valley to spark a love of reading. A local nonprofit first began bridging the literacy gap here in the Miami Valley by bringing books to places like barber shops in low income neighborhoods. Now it's enlisting help from UD engineering students to put those words on wheels. It's a sort of roving library. This book bike is the brainchild of Carlos Marshall and the Conscious Connect, brought to life in the UD School of Engineering's Innovation Center. With student help, the literacy promoting nonprofit plans to use these three wheels to deliver books and even the playing field for kids in low income neighborhoods. Quality of life, you know, whether you're talking about uh, health, whether you're talking about uh, access to also healthy food options, because what we know is that food deserts are often prevalent in the book deserts. They kind of go hand in hand, as well as uh, the ability to create uh, a livable income. The so called book deserts occur most often in low income neighborhoods, where the average child only has has access to one age-appropriate book for every 300 individuals. This 2015 map from Unite for Literacy shows the scale of the Miami Valley's book scarcity problem. Conscious Connect plans to target these red-shaded areas like West Dayton and South Springfield. Words on Wheels can carry up to 500 books with one load, all of them chosen to be culturally relevant. We really want uh, the children, youth, and families to be able to see themselves in them stories and be able to imagine uh, realities that they might not see on a daily basis. Words on Wheels debuts at the Springfield High School football game on September 8th. Catherine Ross, 2 News, working for you.